Good evening, and welcome to our service of Compline on this Sunday, August 1st. I'm David Lehman, the Bishop of Caledonia, and I'm on the traditional ancestral and unceded territory of the Shimshan people, which I gratefully acknowledge. Our worship this evening is found in the Book of Common Prayer and begins on page 722. As it's Sunday, I typically share something I'm reading, but today I decided since I had a road trip to the NAS and back, I would listen to something fun. And so I downloaded and listed on Audible to, I'm not sure if you can see this, a Doctor Who. Alexa Kingston wrote The Ruby's Curse, and then she narrated it. It is a River Song slash, slash Melanie Malone mystery novel. It's kind of a fun Doctor Who, you have to be into it, kind of a read. And um, and it was just just that, a fun sort of a romp of a read, or romp of a listen. And yes, I can listen to Alex Kingston all day long. So it was a lovely kind of distraction on the way up and the way back. As we're in God's presence and coming into a time of worship, let us pause, be still, and know that we're surrounded by God's grace, mercy, and love. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 134, found on page 504. Psalm 134, page 504. We shall say the psalm together. Behold now, praise the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, ye that by night stand in the house of the Lord, even in the courts of the house of our God. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and praise the Lord. The Lord that hath made heaven and earth give thee blessing out of Zion. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading this evening is written in the Gospel of John, beginning in the first chapter at the 43rd verse. The next day Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him about whom Moses and the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph of Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him, he said of him, Here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, Where did you get to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Very truly I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's the reading that always makes me want to ask the question, can anything good come from Saskatchewan? And then wait for the people to get upset as they wear their watermelon hats. Because obviously the answer is yes. Our worship continues on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together the Te Lucas Antiterminum. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wanted favour thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. 
From all ill dreams defend our eyes, From nightly fears and fantasize, Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, That no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, Through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, Who with the Holy Ghost in thee, Doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye, Hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language closest to our hearts, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Together we say the confession. We confess to God, Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us? that thy people may rejoice in thee. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. I invite your prayers and petitions for the people and places that are upon your hearts this night inviting you to name them out loud or share them in the comments box where we may all enter into prayer along with you. We pray for all who are suffering from the coronavirus, for those who are in hospital, particularly on ICU beds, for those who are unable to be in hospital and receive medical care, for all who are recovering at home, for those whose recovery is complicated and longer, for all anxiously awaiting test results 
and all undergoing, and all waiting for the vaccines. That God's healing hand will be upon them and upon all who suffer this night. Praying for those who are evacuated or uh, under a threat of evacuation, for those struggling with smoke and heat in parts of this province, for those who are struggling with the news about the children's graves at the residential schools, for those who are struggling with systemic racism and uh, generational wounding from the residential school system, for all who are struggling with mental health issues, particularly depression and anxiety, for all struggling with addictions, for all who are awaiting doctor's appointments, diagnoses and surgeries, for all who are, have undergone surgery and are recovering, and for all undergoing treatments, therapies and procedures, that God will grant wisdom and compassion to those who care for them. We pray for those who lead in the communities, for those communities struggling to cope with heat and forest fires and the volunteers required to administer programs, for the communities that are running summer programs and are halfway through, and for the people of Terrace as they celebrate uh, Riverboat Days. We pray for those who lead across the territories and the provinces, particularly the MLAs, the Premiers, the Cabinet, and in this province, Dr. Henry and her work of distributing and administering the vaccines and the constant uh, observations and planning for um, response to this pandemic and the response to the opioid crisis. We pray for those who lead across the country and particularly in the federal government, for those who are elected and appointed for the Prime Minister, the Cabinet, for the work of Dr. Tam, the procurement and ongoing study of the vaccines and treatments for COVID, and for all who lead across the nations, for all who give themselves to public office, and for the common good. We pray for those countries that are struggling this day, praying for the Holy Land, for Israel and Palestine, for Myanmar, Syria, Uganda, Nigeria, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Praying for the two Michaels in China. And praying for, uh, not a, in a, in a um, time of crisis, but for the safety of all involved in the Olympics and the upcoming Paralympics in Japan. And we pray for those countries struggling with natural disasters, for those parts of this country that are in, that are uh, struggling with fire, forest fires and flooding and heat waves, and and same across this continent and and around the world for the many countries struggling with drought and famine, thinking of Ethiopia and Mozambique and. Uh, And for the other countries, the, there were 28 or 9 on the list. And we pray for the work of the church in these countries and around the world, for our mission in proclaiming the love of God, and for um, the call we all have to come and see and go and share. And so we pray for Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Linda Nichols, our primate, Mark McDonald, the National Indigenous Anglican Archbishop, for Lynn McNaughton, our Metropolitan, for all who lead in the parishes, uh, for those who are able to gather in person and online for worship today, and for the work of the communities uh, in, in participating in the mission of Christ in our world. And we ask God's blessing to be upon that work and upon all who serve. With all, uh, and it's uh, Sunday, so we pray for teachers and students and families. And as um, we're now halfway through the summer break, as I like to look at it, not sure everyone does, but um, we're at the halfway point. So praying that 
everyone is getting rested and ready for a new year. And for those who are working on the next school year for wisdom and insight Pardon me. and and opportunities to meet the needs of the students as uh, as we move into the third round of, of this pandemic. So with all these prayers and with those uh, that you've named, we pray. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, bring the wandering to the fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, grief, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us and those that hate us, and those that have desired us and worthy as we are to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard the prayers, grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your thanksgivings for this day, those grace moments where you've seen the hand of God at work in your life and the lives of those around you. Uh, I am thankful that the Dean had got off safely on his holidays and his adventure across Canada has begun. And I pray for safe travels for him and for a day of travel for myself uh, to and from um, Get Lux Stomachs and Lux Gotsap. Uh, and having services there with people and a chance to stop in and visit some folks on in Terrace on my way back. And so uh, thankful for those opportunities and chance to sit with the uh, oldest living uh, Niska Nation member and to have a, a time of prayer with her today. And with your thanksgivings we pray. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank Thee for all Thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety, for power to work and leisure to rest, for all that is beautiful in, in creation and in the lives of men, women, and children. We praise and magnify Thy holy name. But above all, we thank Thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, and the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace in believing, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, I skipped some prayers, and you might have noticed, and you might have just thought, hey, um, uh, Facebook did something weird, so the collect for this day, let us pray. Grant to us, Lord, we beseech thee, the spirit to think and to do always such things as be rightful, that we who cannot do anything that is good without thee may by thee be enabled to live according to thy will, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit, we beseech you, Lord, this place, and drive from it all the snares of the, of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell here and to preserve us in peace. And may thy blessing be upon us evermore, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless, keep, and preserve you this night, and indeed forevermore. Amen. When we Pray for those who are scattered. I normally think of myself at that point, and without having a sidekick tonight to keep me on track, you can tell I miss some things, so my apologies. Tomorrow's a stat holiday, so I pray you're taking the day to um, be stat, and to rest, and to enjoy the day. Uh, and tomorrow night, I will be back with the service of Compline. I'm going to skip midday prayer, and, and, um, and I'll catch up on that on Tuesday. But for tomorrow, we will uh, come again together for prayers as we head to bed. So thank you for joining me for our holy hug as we head off to bed. And I pray you have a most restful night. Until then, nighty night. -night.